Hansvet EDM uh, 1991 DS2. Uh, has uh, about eight or uh, seven by ten inches of uh, table travel and six inches of throat depth in the machine. Uh, just do a quick uh, walk around the machine here. You're looking at the, the monitor, the computer system, the wire drive board is over here. The motion control drive is here. The motion controller car in the computer rack. This is the pulse generator for the machine. And uh, also gives the servo signals. The controls are relatively simple on a DS2. You've got machine on off, coolant on off, gap power on off wire tension and wire speed and the wire system can be controlled just by turning it on, pressing a button to check it out and then releasing it'll stop, it turns on automatically with the gap power on. Going around to the back of the machine we have the uh, main control transformer for the gap power, relays for the pumps and gap power and the output section. There's two sections in it that put out 10 amps average current apiece uh, with around 550 amps of peak current at full output. And then there's the high pressure pump and low pressure coolant pump. We have a clean tank and a dirty tank and then uh, uh, this is a Donaldson filter and then a DI uh, container. Then uh, to turn the machine on, you just turn on the, the circuit breaker. Have to make sure the door limits are good. We're gonna do it with the, we can do it with the door shut. And the computer will boot up. Turn machine on, wait for the monitor to come up. Okay, to uh, create a program, We'll select uh, Create Program. Let's do something simple here. We'll just uh, name the program. You can name it anything you want. When you're done entering the name, just press an extra time. And then you get the choice of running either, or programming in either inch or metric. Then your program is real simple. It's conversational programming. The start line will have it start with a X value of zero and will start with a Y axis at 10 thousandths away from the part. Then we'll go in 100 thousandths in the Y. just end it there. Uh, the commands that we have in here is a jump for going in between holes where you're rethreading the wire. We have a rapid command that if you're going larger distance use rapid and you just give XY destinations just like any other program en entry. Index is if you have a index function or you have an indexer over on the machine it can pulse that. Uh, linear is a straight linear move and then you have clockwise. If you choose that you'll put in the destination and then the center point for the arc and you've got counterclockwise for going the opposite. And then there's a pause if you're wanting to pull out slugs 
there, and then the uh, N line has to be on every uh, program that you write. Then that's it for creating the program. Uh, you can do offsets if you want, and there is offset, uh, mirror, and rescale, and then there's uh, you can trace the program if you want to see how it does and look over here at the machine you put a pen in the holder a piece of paper on the pad here and it'll actually give you a printout then of uh, what the machine is doing you can have that in trace mode and then you can also have it in cut uh, you can watch where you're at right now we need to uh, we don't have to but homing the machine. You just press home and if you take a look over in the machine, there it homes in the uh, far right corner as viewed from the front. Okay, there it's completed the homing machine. Now we'll jog out to our part and to do that uh, you select jog and then, uh, I don't know if you can, or here, aim over here. I'm gonna press in on the computer input knob and just rotate to the left. And if I just turn it a little bit, it goes slow. The farther I turn it, the faster it goes. So we'll go ahead and look in the tank. Switch to the Y axis, get it out here a ways. Bring our X over. Get over to the part, we'll do an edge find. We're just going to edge find in uh, Y plus here just for this demonstrating the burn. Pick uh, edge find, Y axis, rotate the computer input knob clockwise to go plus. That'll turn on the wire drive system to put tension on your wire. And then when the edge is picked up, we just press the computer input knob and then we can zero set the Y. And we'll zero set X where we're at. Then we'll go to our, uh, we'll back it off a little bit so we're not touching. And then what we're gonna do is go to the cut screen. That's basically we've done uh, edit jog, cut. Then we'll do a start return. Now it's 10 thousandths out from the part. Um, if the electrode's 10 thousandths in diameter, then we're actually uh, uh, 10 away from the OD of the diameter of the electrode. Then basically from this point, we're just going to turn the gap power on. That turns on the coolant pump automatically. 
we would normally have our guides down close uh, to the workpiece, but it's telling us, uh, let's see here, oh. Didn't have my wire in front of the wire detector. Then uh, while you're cutting, you can change uh, parameters to anything you want. We'll crank it up a little bit here. The uh, screen then will give you the cutting speed that you're, you're running. That's running uh, just about seven inches an hour. And then you can see where you're at in, in your program. Then if we like the settings that we have, we just simply uh, go down and save the settings. Now we have settings saved. And I think we're, in, we're at the end of the cut we did. did uh, return to the start point, so we're back at the beginning of the cut.